Hello, welcome to Valve Channel, Stephen. Last video, we already talked about five different ball valve body in ball valve industry. And also, except to design different valve body, we also design the different ball to make the ball valve have different function. So in this video, we are talking about five different ball in ball valve industry to make the ball valve have different function. First one is the most common one, just a round ball. This kind of ball are very widely used in ball valve industry. We will use two valve seats to cooperate with the ball to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. This kind of ball valve had one disadvantage, which is wherever you are going to open the ball valve or close the ball valve, the ball will always touch the valve seat, always going to grinding the two valve seat. So after open and close a lot of time, the valve seat may get wet out. So engineer really want to design one kind of ball. When we're going to open it, the ball will not going to touch the valve seat. So let's look at what kind of ball valve ball engineer going to design when we're going to operate the ball valve. The ball will not going to touch the valve seat. The next one is called a half ball or called semi ball. The reason why we use this kind of ball to design a ball valve because we want this kind of ball valve when we're going to open it, the ball sitting face will immediately left the valve seat sitting face. So first we change the ball shape. We use a half ball to design this kind of ball valve. And also we change the position of the valve stand. This kind of ball valve, the valve stand is offset. So we call this kind of ball valve is eccentric semi ball valve. So when we're going to open this kind of ball valve, the basic principles are very similar with the double offset butterfly valve. So when we're going to open the ball valve, the ball sitting face will immediately left the valve seat sitting face. So the ball will never going to grinding the valve seat. So the ball valve will have long lifetime. The basic principles are very easy to understand by this illustration. We are going to use this kind of half ball to make this kind of eccentric semi ball valve. We will use two valve stands to fix the ball inside the valve body and mounted another piece of the valve body and the valve seat with the main valve body. So this kind of ball valve, the advantage is when we're going to open it, the ball will immediately left the valve seat. The ball will never go into grinding the valve seat. The ball valve will have a long lifetime. But this kind of ball valve had one disadvantage because we use a half ball to design this kind of ball valve. So this kind of half ball, the mechanical strengths are lower than the normal round ball. So engineer going to change the design. We want to design one kind of ball valve. When we're going to open it, the ball will not going to touch the valve seat. And also the ball can work in high temperature, high pressure environment. So let's look at what kind of ball valve ball can work in, in that kind of position. Next one is a very special ball valve. Because we want to design one kind of ball valve, when we're going to open the ball valve, the ball will not continue to touch the valve seat. And also, we want the ball valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. So first, we must use the round ball to design the ball valve ball because the round ball, the mechanical strengths are much better than the half ball. And then we're going to divide it, the ball of movement to two parts. One is the ball, we're going to left the valve seat first and then going to turn it. So engineer going to design one kind of ball valve which called a orbit ball valve. The basic principle is the valve stand, it has an orbit. This orbit will divide the ball movement to two parts. One is when we're going to open the ball valve, the valve stand will going to push the ball tilt to another side. Because this kind of ball valve, just the one side have valve seat. So first, the ball will tilt to one side. It has no valve seat. So the ball valve sitting face will immediately left with each other the ball will left the valve seat. And then we continue to turning the 
valve where. The valve stand will go into turning the ball. The valve will be open. So that is the basic principle for the orbit ball valve. This illustration is going to explain how the orbit ball valve is going to open it. First, this position is the ball going to close. The ball sitting face is going to touch the valve seat sitting face. And then, we are going to control the valve stand to open the ball valve. First the movement is the ball going to left the valve seat. And then the ball going to turn it. So this kind of design are very special. This kind of ball valve can work in very critical flow control system. The ball, when we're going to open it, the ball sitting face will never going to touch the valve seat sitting face. The orbit ball valve ball are look like this. Just the one side has sitting face going to cooperate with the valve seat to seal the pressure. And also in the upside of the ball, it has a core raw pins. It was going to cooperate with the valve stand. And the downside of the ball, it has a trinian. It was going to mount it inside the valve body, so the ball can tilt to one side. This kind of ball valve actually had one disadvantage, which is because the ball, when we're going to open it, it will tilt to one side first and then going to turn it. So this kind of ball valve are very slowly to open. It cannot open very quickly. So that is the disadvantages for this kind of orbit ball valve. Most valves were going to control two-way flow medium. But in ball valve family, we have one kind of ball valve. It can control three-way flow medium. So we call this kind of ball valve is three-way ball valve. In three-way ball valve family, we have two kind of ball working inside the valve body. One is called an air port and another called a T-port. It is very easy to understand by this picture. Air port, the two holes are not going to cross the ball. And also the two holes, the hole axis are perpendicular with each other. And another is T-port. T-port means one hole are going to cross the ball and another hole are not going to cross the ball. So when we're going to use two kind of ball to control the flow medium, so we have one kind of illustration going to explain how this kind of ball going to control the flow medium inside the ball valve. Because it is not so difficult to understand, so I'm not going to explain each picture one by one. If you are interested, you can stop this video to read this illustration. The last ball valve ball, the shape are very special. It will look like this. Because except we use ball valve to become on-off function for the flow control system, we also use ball valve to become control valve function. When we're going to use a valve for the control valve function, we must can control the valve CV a very accuracy. So we design this kind of ball valve, the port look like a V. So we call this kind of ball is V ball. This kind of valve just uh, for the control valve function. So we were going to use this kind of ball valve to cooperate with an uh, actuator and the positioner to control the valve CV and also control the flow media inside the flow control system. So this kind of ball valve is a special designed ball valve to control the valve CV inside the flow control system. To make the V ball control valve can control the valve CV a more accuracy with the customer demand. Engineer can design different angle of the V to make different ball for the customer demand. So the big angle CV will be bigger than the small angle CV. So that is very easy to understand. So that is for today five different ball valve ball in ball valve industry. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.